previously on Mr. Young. Echo, happy birthday! <laughs> Echo, you mean the world to me, and I hope I also hold a special place in your heart. I just need to travel back in time to my first day at Finnegan and meet Echo before the me of that time period does. That way, I can make a better first impression. Hi there, I'm Adam. I'm Echo. That's a beautiful name for a beautiful girl. <laughs> what do you mean I was fired? Why? You got fired for dating Echo, a student. This is all my fault. Thought you could change your fate, but you can't. I guess Echo and I are just not meant to be together. I need to undo everything I've done. Everything seems back to normal. All that's left now is having to live out the rest of my life knowing that Echo will never be interested in me. <laughs> hey. You said you'd save me some cake. No one can ever know we're dating. We're dating, right? <sighs> Good, no one can know. Okay, class, today we're studying the effects of caffeine on animal physiology, which is why I have one bag containing coffee beans and another containing a wild puma. <laughs> so, who has a hypothesis? Oh, Echo, I said hypothesis, not hippo face. <laughs> oh, yes, Lab, you have a complaint about Echo and or her face? No. I was just wondering why you're being so mean to her. What? I'm not. You said you'd give bonus marks to anyone who tripped her on the way in. <laughs> Again, sorry. Mr. Young, can I please have a word? Uh, sure. How about ugly? <laughs> what are you doing? Making sure no one thinks I like you more than the other students, jerk face dummy. <laughs> Echo, you're my favorite. You've always been my favorite. Aww. You're my favorite, too. <laughs> Good. Now sit down, you bug-eyed nitwit. <laughs> Okay, we discovered that caffeine makes pumas a wee bit edgy. <laughs> but we're still better company than Echo, whom I hate. They're not even listening anymore. I'm sorry, but you know if Tater finds out we're dating, I'll lose my job. Every time I insult you is a reminder of how much I love you. You crusty-eyed snot monkey. I love you too, you pasty-faced snooze wagon. Whoa! That's what you say to a horse to make it stop. I'm learning so much in equestrian studies. Also, whoa! You guys were just kissing. No, we weren't. Uh, I think I know what kissing is. We learned about it in equestrian studies. Okay, the truth is... Echo and I are dating. We're in love. That's great. Adam, this is everything you've ever wanted. Congratulations. And Echo, really him? <laughs> Derby, no one can ever know, especially Mr. Tater. If he finds out, he'll fire me. Can you keep our secret? Are you kidding? I'm the best at keeping secrets. For example, Slab just told me he cheated on that pop quiz in your class. I kept that secret just fine. Mr. Young, I heard you took all the coffee beans from the staff lounge. Well, I'm taking them back. <laughs> Quiet, coffee! Mr. Tater, have you heard the good news? Ooh, I love good news. Whenever people say, what do you want first, the good news or the bad news, I always say, start with the good news, then stop talking, doctor. Well, then you're gonna love... Don't spill the beans! 
Mr. Tater, because you're holding a bag of beans. Good advice for Mr. Tater. Anyways, I was just gonna Don't tell you- Don't let the cat out of the bag! Mr. Tater? <laughs> the other bag. The one you're not holding. Why do you guys keep giving me useless advice I'm gonna ignore? Who are you, my doctor? <laughs> let me guess. You've often watched me from across the hall, and you've finally built up the courage to ask me out. Oh, I'm so glad, because it means I can say no. <laughs> yes, only one more, and I'll have turned down every guy in school. I think you've already gotten to him. Not yet, but here he comes. <laughs> Not in a million years, X-Face. <laughs> Look again. I think you missed one. You have never rejected Slab. Oh. Well, I'll just get Slab to ask me out so I can reject him. I don't think it's going to be that easy. He seems to have other interests. These are beautiful, X-Face. But I'm still taking your lunch. Stealing lunches from nerds. That is the other interest to which I was referring. <laughs> Isn't this nice? You and I finally have some alone time together. <laughs> and now it's over. I figured out what was wrong with this wobbly table. This piece of cardboard was preventing it from wobbling. I get that we have to keep our eye on Derby so he doesn't give away our secret, but why do we need to have him with us here? In case Mr. Tater sees us together. We're nowhere near the school. He works nights at this restaurant. Would you care to buy a rose for the lovely lady? <laughs> or the lovely gentleman you're also with? Come on, I'm on commission. Flowers, flowers for sale. If you knew he worked here, why are we eating in this restaurant? I had a group on. <laughs> Ooh, I almost forgot. While I was under the table, I found this gum. Yeah, I'm no, good. No, thanks. <gasps> Ew. <laughs> what? You're gonna need fresh breath later for your makeout session. <laughs> you never know where this evening will go. <laughs> Echo, I know you're upset about last night, but it was a really good Groupon, and it was going to expire. It's not just that. I can't handle Derby anymore. Don't worry, I'm going to take care of him. You're gonna kill Derby? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I created this device that can target specific memories and erase them. I've even tested it on myself. Did it work? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, then I guess it did. <laughs> anyway, this scans for your most significant recent memory and deletes it. In Derby's case, that would be that we're dating. Great, so just tell Derby you want to test a new invention on him. That won't work. Since the last experiment I used him for, Derby refuses to be my guinea pig. So, did it work? <laughs> That was Derby? He peed on my hand. <laughs> so we're never getting close to Derby with this thing. No, but I know someone who can get close to him. Ah, so the next thing we'll see is you dressed like a gorgeous girl in a skimpy outfit. What? No. Why would you think that? I don't know. That just seems like classic Mr. Young. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to redesign this device using some of my special equipment. Hairbrushes and other beauty supplies. Like I said, classic Mr. Young. 
Check it out, Dang. Guy's like a girl he's spoken for. So let's see what Slab thinks of my new boyfriend. I bet he's fun at parties. He's not really human. He's a pinata. I know. That's why I made that fun at parties joke. Oh, good one. Hey, Slab. Meet my new boyfriend. I bet he's fun at parties. Because you wouldn't date a guy who's not fun at parties. What's his name? Um, Kosh Inflammable. Great to meet you, Kosh. Looking at you, I feel like we have so much in common. Except the part about wanting to date Ivy. Doesn't it bother you to see me with Kosh Inflammable? Not at all. It's nice to have another guy my size around. Someone who can relate to the problems I face. Am I right? Why won't you talk to me? Maybe this will make you open up. That's it. Let it all out, my friend. Have you ever had sensitive or embarrassing documents you didn't want anyone to see? All the time. My high school transcripts, my principal evaluation, and the results of my last physical. Well, now you can get rid of stuff like that with the Preston Pickle Shredder Pants. Allow me to demonstrate using this safety report on the Preston Pickle Shredder Pants. Well, since there's no safety report telling me not to, I'll take a pair. Preston Pickles, how would you like to be the exclusive distributor of a new beauty product that will make you millions? Millions, I tell you, millions. Millions? Millions, you tell me? Millions. It's called the Preston Pickles Vacuum Quaff. That has my name written all over it. Or it will. Tell me more. It uses vacuum power to style your hair. No more costly visits to the salon. And this little baby is all yours. For 12 easy payments of $19.95? <laughs> no. If you shoot the infomercial at Finnegan High and demonstrate on the volunteer I choose. Fine. Who am I demonstrating on? My friend Derby. Do you remember Derby? The guy who ruined me twice, broke my daughter's heart, and I tried to kill? Legally. <laughs> You must choose Derby to be your volunteer. Fine. Remember, Derby. This is the most important thing you need to remember. Yeah, yeah, Derby. I got it. Hi, I'm Preston Pickles. You may remember me from such products as bacon tape. <laughs> the Bumbrella. And the Naval Safe. <laughs> Who would be dumb enough to buy any of that guy's stupid products? Certainly not me. It's not like this is a receipt for his shredder pants. <laughs> Say hello to my newest product. The Vacuum Quaff. Now you can get a salon perfect hairdo in your very own home. But don't take my word for it. Let me show you how it works using a volunteer from our audience. How about... You're up, Derby. You, young lady. What? No, Echo, you can't. Prepare to be quaffed. Ta-da! Echo, how are you feeling? Groovy. Good. Are you also in love? Of course. With this fabulous new hair care product. You might want to get one, Mr. Young. Maybe a nicer haircut would help you get a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, single and styling. <laughs> Like
went to return these shredder pants. They're jammed. Well, do you have your receipt? Sure, it's right here. How could you do that to me? Relax. I was going to give you your cut. Not that. I told you to demonstrate the vacuum quaff on Derby. You never said that. I said it like 10 times. Yeah, yeah, Derby, I got it. <laughs> if I'm going to shoot an infomercial, I really should look my best. <laughs> you erased your own memory. No, I didn't. I think I'd remember something like that. <laughs> Nerd. Dang, it's me. I didn't know you read comic books. Or anything. I'm trying to get Slab to invite me to the comic convention. I didn't know Slab read comic books. Or anything. That place is the nerd mother load. He could steal a year's worth of lunches, which would last him like a week. <laughs> hey, Slab, the comic convention's coming up. Sounds fun. It will be. That's why I was thinking it might be nice to go there with my new friend, Caution Flammable. You're asking him instead of me? That's it. Quit it, I'm going to. I'm your girlfriend? <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. That doesn't sound like anyone. It's true, and I'll prove it. Derby, are Echo and I dating? Of course not. I know we asked you to keep it a secret, but just tell the truth. Am I Echo's boyfriend? The truth? The truth is, you are not Echo's boyfriend. <laughs> tell her, tell her we're dating. But you're not. Yes, we are. Say it. Say there's nothing to say. Okay, Mr. Young, I'll see you in class. See? I told you I could keep a secret. You're welcome. Oh! What's this about? Adam and Echo dating. Ah! You're dating a student? Mr. Tater, it's supposed to be a secret. Some people. Mr. Young. I'm going to have to report this to the school board. We have rules here. Stop that. You know there's no spilling candy on the floor, Slab. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Mr. Tater. Well, Tater's meeting with the school board. Looks like I'm going to be fired. And I'm just stealing stuff. <laughs> Mr. Young, I told the school board everything. Do you want the good news or the bad news? The good news. You're not being fired. Well, that's great. What's the bad news? You're not being fired. <laughs> the board understands that you may be a teacher, but you're also a kid. The same rules shouldn't apply to a teacher who's the same age as his students. Just like how the rules against stealing shouldn't apply to students who want free stuff. <laughs> but there are some ground rules you'll have to follow. First. No public displays of affection at school. No one needs to see that. Makes people feel pathetic. Bald and pathetic. Alone, bald. And... No public displays, got it. Plus, since you dated Echo, even though she's understandably blocked it out of her mind, she's gonna have to transfer out of your class. She'll be in the new science teacher's class. New science teacher? Who is the new science teacher? Mr. Kidd. Who are you calling kid? <laughs> he's a kid teacher. Can you believe that? <laughs> Apparently, he's some kind of genius. What a unique opportunity. We're so lucky to have him. <laughs> ah, Miss Zizzle Swift. Come meet your new science teacher. Hi, I'm Echo. That's a beautiful name for a beautiful girl. <laughs> 
Wow, that guy makes a good first impression. <laughs> Mr. Tater, you can't do this. Sorry, it's out of my hands. The board signed this transfer order. These aren't my shredder pants. They're my copier pants. <laughs> Slab, I won't be bothering you anymore since you're clearly not interested in going out with me. Are you kidding? I'd love to ask you out. Who <laughs> wouldn't? With your hair and your cute little nose and the way you... <laughs> Great, so ask. Nah, I know you. You just reject me. Absolutely no way I will reject you. Crushing your soul and tearing your heart apart while simultaneously completing a chart I don't care about? <laughs> Pass me! Do it! It'll be fine! Okay, okay. You've convinced me. Ivy, will you go out with me? You're asking me out? <laughs> You're asking me out? Well, here's my answer. Yes. <laughs> Neither of you are teachers, right? <laughs> Good. I guess I should really know these things.